you too welcome to six days out six days out man we are here it is sunday the 18th august 2019 six days out oh this flavor is so good this is the uh, purple guava pear damn it's not as early as it usually is for me in the gym it is right now seven o'clock seven a.m just finished up 20 minutes of pre-workout cardio and uh, also did 15 minutes in the sauna uh, pre-workout. We're about to get in here and do a full upper body workout. About to grind it out. 12 to 15 reps on everything. Not necessarily a depletion workout, but if you want to think of it as such, go right ahead. Uh, quick update. Friday, I took in 200 grams of carbs. Yesterday, I took in 400 grams of carbs. Woke up like this compared to waking up in the morning of yesterday like this. So I'm gonna put them side by side. And that's after having 400 grams of carbs, guys. So it's safe to say that uh, I had depleted myself for quite some time and these carbs are just soaking up and they, they like me right now, you know? So uh, we're, gonna go and do, we're gonna do some more carbs today and just try to push to that limit right before we spill over, right? We don't want to spill over, but if we do, that is perfect. We know how many carbs my body really needs or really wants based off of like my training and just my daily lifestyle. So we're gonna get those carbs in. And then tomorrow we have uh, another protocol that we're gonna follow because tomorrow traditionally for competitors is the beginning of peak week, all right? So let's go ahead, get in here and get this training in. All right, so I guess you could call this like some sort of a depletion workout because I'm doing a full circuit, upper body circuit. I'm going chest, back, shoulders, triceps, biceps. I'm just repeating that, you know what I'm saying? So this is like set three or four. I'm just gonna keep going, man, until my time expires with lifting because you don't want to lift weights too too long. You don't want to break down too much uh, muscle, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is the end of the prep, right? So we're not in here trying to get swole. We're not in here trying to uh, you know build muscle we're just pretty much trying to get that blood flow get the pump you know and now i'm trying to make sure the carbs that i'm intaking are going to all the right places you know what i'm saying and then so from the looks of it when you pump up you know where the carbs are going to go or you know what exercises to do in order to get the carbs to go where you want them to go you know what i'm saying so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the circuit So in my mind, at this point, I'm like three or four sets in, I'm increasing the weight. I'm still getting 15 reps on this incline chest press. I wanna be down to around 10, right? So I need to increase the weight. Uh, I'm a little stronger than I thought on this machine because right now I should be pushing, fighting for, you know, 12 reps. And right now I'm getting those 15 reps. They hurt, but I'm getting them. So gotta keep increasing the weight. <laughs> So, same with these rows. I'm fighting for it, but I'm getting 15. So I need to increase the weight. Like I said, I want 10 to 12 hard reps, you know. 15 is more on the lighter side, so we gotta keep increasing. And we got plenty of time. Only been working out for about 25 minutes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
weight was heavy and I was fighting for 12 and then once I cut the camera on now everything is like lighter maybe that's what I'm talking and I'm kind of resting a little bit more but uh I'm not sure how many of those press downs I did I lost track track count I think it was 12 to 15 All right, there it is, man. That is the complete circuit. We went from the incline chest press. We went to the dumbbell rolls. We went upright rolls for the shoulders. Tricep press downs, inside, concentrate, concentrated, uh, alternating dumbbell curls, supinated. I was a uh, pinky, I was trying to force my pinky to hit the uh, shoulder, so supinated. Still focused on that peak. For strategy, this is the first upper body uh, circuit, you know, of peak week. Let's call it today peak week. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna do a full body. We'll probably do a full body on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, just upper body. On Thursday, upper body. And of course, you know, on Friday, this is the day before the show, you kind of just rest and recover based off of how you look. Now, if some odd reason on Friday I woke up and I didn't like my look, I would probably do some fasted cardio or just some kind of a workout, you know, maybe later on in the hotel, you know, before I put my tan on, before I, you know, do my nighttime show day ritual, you know what I'm saying? All that is gauged off of how the week goes, right? So today being Sunday, first day of peak week, uh, we're going to keep forcing more carbs. I think my body can take in the carbs, so we're going to keep forcing in more carbs. And then uh, tomorrow we will most likely taper down and try to coast into the show so that on Wednesday or Thursday, we can start carving up again, similar to how we did on Friday and yesterday. See what I'm saying? So uh, we're thinking, we're thinking over here, right? Uh, I'm using a lot more of my, my thinking involved in this show prep than I have in the, uh, the last two that I've done by myself, right? So uh, hopefully everything goes well. Uh, let's stay positive, let's uh, stay confident, let's keep smiling. I had a lot of energy today in the gym and I still got some time to uh, lift some more weight, so I'm probably gonna do uh, another round or two and then uh, do some cardio. But uh, I got some energy, man. I'm feeling pretty good about just how everything is going. Uh, I was a little skeptical at the beginning of this week, 12 days out, but you know, you, you know, if you, if you trust the process and you stick to the plan, whatever plan it is that you have, whether you or your coach, things start to work out how you want it to, man. You just gotta stay positive, man. Keep positive energy around you. Keep your stress levels down and just enjoy the ride, man. So uh, that's what it is, man. Uh, six days out, man. I'm feeling good. I appreciate all y'all for rocking with me, man. I uh, know that's not the end of the video, but uh, I'm about to cut the camera off. I'm going to do maybe two more, uh, two more rounds. I'm going to go do some cardio. I'm going to touch the abs a bit, and then uh, we're going to go home, man. Got to go home and eat, man. Go eat some carbs. <music>
right, YouTube, we are back home. It's actually uh, about an hour after we worked out. Uh, I washed my hair and everything, you know, getting ready for that cut. I wanna do it early, so I won't have to worry about it at the end of the week, man. Get the cut, all I gotta do at the end of the week, get a nice little lineup, you know what I'm saying? We got some cereal right here, two servings of some Fruit Loops, which is my favorite cereal. Just 50 grams of carbs right now, uh, post-workout. Got my little one over here, she's dining with dad and the right bunny. Say hi. Hi. There you go. Yeah, she loves she love her some Fruit Loops too. So yeah, we're just getting these, uh, getting these carbs in, man. You've seen the uh, physique an hour post-workout. You've seen the physique immediately post-workout, you know what I'm saying? So the carbs right now are pretty decent. Uh, the water intake is uh, pretty high right now. I cut back a little bit yesterday, but um, today we're going to, you know, bump the water back up. And then, like I said, you guys already know the protocol I spoke about earlier about how we're going to proceed with the week. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get this down and I'll check back with you guys later. All right, here we got it. You know I gotta get some protein in too. Can't just eat the cereal. But the cereal was good. But uh, got a nice little folded omelet right here. Uh, five egg whites. Nothing too special, guys. Gotta get some protein in. It's about 20 to 25 grams of protein right there. The reason why I incorporated the cereal is because of the milk, right? This is the milk I'm using right now, unsweetened. But um, yeah, man, it's good for your calcium, man. Uh, I, I went to a doctor and this is a while ago, maybe like even a year or two ago, but I went to the doctor and the doctor was just like, hey man, you need to start drinking milk. Why, why don't you drink milk? And I'm like, hey man, I'm a bodybuilder. You know, we try to stay away from the dairy. But she was like, nah, you need to start throwing that in every now and then because it's good for the bones, it's good for overall health. So with that being said, I do tend to eat, <laughs> drink milk every now and again. But of course, I got the spray. Gotta get the spray, gotta get the butter. Can't believe it's not butter. We're gonna get this down, man. So uh, I check with you guys at the next meal. Uh, we'll check the physique and see how we're looking. Maybe we'll do some more carbs, maybe we won't. Uh, we're, we're 50 carbs in right now, 50 grams of carbs in right now. So let's just see how this plays out. So real quick, something else I've been doing is uh, shuffling these carbs around, right? So as of yesterday, you know, well, I had this 35 pound dumbbell right here. And then yesterday I picked up a 20 pound dumbbell. And that's simply because uh, it's hard to do your overhead tricep extensions with these 35s, man. Just way too heavy for me. So uh, when I'm taking in all these carbs, I like to switch it up. And that's just to move the carbs around. I spoke about that earlier in the gym. You're moving these carbs around, right? So I want the carbs to go to the delts. So shuffling. Shuffling, putting the cars in the delts, you know, bicep work, you know, get some overhead tricep extension work, get some rear delt work, get some lat work. We pretty much do it all, you know, so that's what I do. Right after I eat, moving the carbs around. I let it digest a little bit, but right after I eat, and then right before I uh, check out my physique and uh, record that video, because I want to imagine that I'm pumping up for the stage, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, just taking in these carbs, trying to see how it's gonna work for me. I also do push-ups for the chest, or you can do some of these right here. Cross the body. That's gonna touch some of that front delt too, which you really wanna squeeze right here. Yeah, man, so go pick up some dumbbells. I picked this dumbbell up yesterday simply because I'm taking this with me, you know what I'm saying? So backstage is cool and all, but this is not a super big show, so it's not like gonna be a whole bunch of crazy weights around, right? I remember last time, I mean, they had a few sets of dumbbells, but it was a lot of competitors. What I'm gonna use, you know what I'm saying? So I can either take bands or I can take a dumbbell. So I'm taking this 20 pound dumbbell, which is gonna be good enough for me. All right, YouTube. Getting a little chilly, man. I had to put the hoodie on. Went ahead and cut the hair. We're good to go. Let me catch you guys up on this meal. Hey, 
it is what it is. We got the tuna and we got some noodles in here. So noodles is something that I have not actually incorporated uh, throughout this whole prep, unless it was like a cheat, a cheat meal, some like some, some spaghetti or something like at a restaurant. But I have noticed that when I do cheat with uh, pasta, I end up with a nice look in the morning, a nice look after, you know what I'm saying? So I'm actually trying it out to see um, how I'm going to fill out if I put that pasta in there. And just some whole grain, we got the bow ties in there, some whole grain. We're looking at 41 grams per serving. Um, and this right here is one and a half servings. So that's what we got right here. I went ahead and threw some sauce on there. Uh, I only did half a cup. That's one serving. And I did some stevia, as you can see right there. Got the stevia in there, uh, just to give it a little sweeter taste. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now, man. Uh, like I said, experiment, experiment, experiment. Six days out since you experiment. Uh, no, you probably shouldn't, but I will and I can. Um, Cause I have uh, in my head, I have a method that I'm going with and it seems to be working out pretty well. So I'm just gonna continue to do what I'm doing and let's just see how it goes. Remember I said, if anything goes wrong, come next Saturday, we know why. And then for the next show, we will get better, right? Trial and error. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to get this down. Uh, I'm doing some client work right now. That's what I use Sundays for. Sundays is usually like updating meal plans, updating workout plans and all that just jazz. I'm um, tired of talking, I'm hungry. It is now uh, two o'clock. I have not ate, eaten since breakfast, which was at 10 o'clock. I've just been doing things. So I need to catch up on my meal so I won't be eating super, super late. Cause tomorrow we are back to fasting, which means we aren't eating until 12 p.m. So uh, 11, 11 uh, a.m. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get this down, man. I'm gonna catch you guys at the next meal. Getting some of that extra credit in. Got my youngins out here going for that daily walk. I think I'm about three or four meals in. Uh, all carb meals as well. And right now I'm at 200 grams of carbs. So I think I'm going to stop with the carbs right now. Just pull back and uh, get ready for Monday. You know, so I have a, I'll have a last meal. Uh, probably just do some fish and some asparagus and call it. You know what I mean? And then Monday. We start fresh with our fasting, do our, you know, our low carb, our low carb meals, probably shoot for negative 30. When I say negative 30, I mean 30 and less. I'm not saying like negative 30 carb. I mean, I don't even know if that's a thing, but uh, yeah, we're doing 30 grams or less. Fats, we will keep the fats low as well, try to hit 30 or less, and then we'll shoot the protein up a slight bit from what it's been. We should guide that all the way to the show. Maybe uh, a day or two before the show, guide that. You know, get those last shreds. And we should be good to go. Come on, get strong, use them legs, get some leg drive, get some leg drive. Getting the sweat, it's about 106 degrees right now. Yeah. 100, 106 degrees. Water Texas, break. it's hot. Water break, you ain't got no water in here, man, it's empty. Ain't no water. We get some water when you get home, but hurry up and get home, get some water. We got a long way to go. Daddy. We about 20, we about 25 minutes in. Daddy. Now we almost there. We'll be there in just a bit. Oh, yes. All right, man, yeah, I'm finished up this extra credit, man. I'll probably catch y'all in the morning, man. Faster cardio in the morning. Probably bump that thing up to about 70, 75 minutes, man. We got to get it. We got to get it, man. Six days out, let's go.